Hey Leo, what's happening? What's cracking lagging and what's popping, baby? It's your boy and forgets when Sarah coming at you guys with your November 15th through the 30th. Love Sarah reading. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. So let me know down in the comments down below. Keep in mind these readings are general. If they resonate, that's awesome. If not, they're not your message. Feel free to check out any other amazing tarot readers that we got here on YouTube, okay? These messages may resonate backwards or vice versa. So take them how they resonate if they apply to your particular situation. If you guys would like, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is all linked down below. And you guys can also check out my sister and her boyfriend's youtube channel first link in the description if you guys want to take a look into my family's life so leo let's get it cracking let's see what's happening okay this will be your november mid-month baby what's going on for the leo gang okay message for leo here some moon rising and venus signs throughout november 15th through the 30th message for leo please some moon rising and venus signs throughout november 15th hey oh through the 30th excuse me guys keep forgetting to mute my thing anyway messages for leo please sun moon rising and venus signs they're on november 15th through the 30th okay melancholy <laughs> melancholy that's the word i heard i haven't heard melancholy in a very long time I'm in a melancholy mood okay <laughs> What the fuck? Isn't that a funny word? Anyways, energy between you and another person. You got a six of swords. Can be connecting with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarian. Okay, someone's melancholy. It's not you though, Leo. Okay? Alright, <laughs> we got a world card, a nine of swords. That's the melancholy energy. And then for the outcome, the strength card. So, Leo, your energy is present here. Of course, can be connecting with another fixed sign, Aquarian, Taurus, Scorpio, or another Leo. So, whoever you're dealing with, they're melancholy as fuck. Okay? You got a nine of swords here. Worrying about you thinking about you can't get you out of their head up all night thinking about you damn leo who the fuck you dealing with you got somebody in their feels homie and right now with the world card that's signifying that's a cycle that's long gone so leo there's something that you've traveled away from there's something that you moved on from and you did it for your strength your courage and to protect your energy so there's someone here you cut out in order to protect your energy because it was essential to you i feel like it was very essential okay and whoever this is you're connecting with right now they're definitely in this period of time where they're not too happy. They're worried about you. They feel like they fucked up. You really got this person in your feels. Let's take a deeper look into this story. God damn, five of cups at the bottom of the deck. And then over here, Leo, you got an ace of swords. Like, I'm just telling you the truth. Okay, let's talk about it. So what I'm going to do here, Leo, is I'm going to go over the person you're dealing with. I'm going to take a look at their feelings towards you. Then I'm going to go over your feelings towards them. We'll take a look at where energies are aligning and then the outcome for the second half of the month. Okay, now in regards to who Leo is dealing with, let's take a look here. Message is for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout November 15th through the 30th. How does the person Leo is dealing with feel towards Leo, please? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout November 15th through the 30th. How does the other person feel towards Leo? All right, let's take a look here. So, Knight of Swords, they just want to talk to you. They want a chance to talk to you, but I don't feel like you've been receptive. Oh, they're scared to talk to you. Here, Knight of Swords and the Nine of Wands. And the Nine, Jesus Christ, the Nine of Wands, okay? Shit, man. What's going on with my accent and my speaking today? And you have a star card here as well. So, let's take a look. Leo, whoever this is you're connecting with here, Knight of Swords and the Nine of Wands, this is an individual who's scared to talk to you, and they're definitely coming from an insecure place. Now, like I said here, Leo, Nine of Swords, person suffering right now, person's in a melancholy mood. I really like that word. I really like melancholy. I think the last time I heard it was when my manager at my old job said it. I'm still friends with him. He's great. Shout out to Mike. But he was like, I feel melancholy today. And he said it just like that. And I was like, wow. Okay. I like the word. I'm going to claim it for a bit. Okay. You guys will get tired of it. I won't. Okay. Anyways, Nine of Swords energy here paired with the Nine of Wands. They're scared to talk to you, but all they really want to do is talk to you. So they're refraining from doing it, yet they are literally desiring to talk to you. All right. This is the energy where they type up a whole text and then they delete it instead of sending it to you. Okay. And I also feel like the person you're dealing with, this could be an energy where they don't know how to put things into words. They don't know what to say to you. It's kind of the vibe here as well. Um, Queen of Wands energy here, as well as the Five of Pentacles, they feel abandoned from you. They definitely feel left out from you. Um, and that's what's hurting them but at the same time this person has such a burning passion for you so i don't know how they i don't know who done fucked up here i don't know if it was Julio or the person you're dealing with but person you're dealing with has a lot of passion towards you and it's a lot like when i tell you this person really thinks about you they think about you they do think about you quite intimately as well is what i'm seeing here so you could have been intimate with this person you might have had sex with this person leo and they are attached to the sex just saying 
okay? But they really do think about fantasizing relationships with you, having a beautiful relationship with you. They fantasize intimately about you. They fantasize about just talking to you and having a conversation with you. And Knight of Cups here and Two of Swords, they hate that they're on the other side of the sword because they don't feel like they're on the same page with you. Well, they know they're not on the same page with you because they feel abandoned by you. Okay, but of course we all have our reasons. I'm sure you have your reason here, Leo. So we'll dabble into that in a little bit. But based off how they currently feel, the person you're dealing with feels very much so afraid to talk to you. They can't put it in words on what it is that they want to say to you. They miss you like crazy. They feel like they done fucked up for whatever it is that happened. And they have so much burning passion for you, but there's so much resistance here that they can't convey it to you and that's what hurts them the most and the star card energy here um basically signifying the person you're dealing with has hopes that you'll return to them but they're losing hope by the day it feels like i'm seeing kind of like the clock ticking out you know you know when you envision a clock uh with the sand pouring all the way down the time's ticking here okay now in regards to how you feel towards this person leo let's take a look leo sun moon rising venus signs throughout november 15th through the 30th. How does Leo feel towards this person, please? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs throughout November 15th through the 30th. How does Leo feel towards this person? Okay. You got an Ace of Swords. Came out again. You feel like you needed to tell the truth. You also felt like the need to cut the cord here. Yep. We got an Ace of Swords. We got a Five of Cups. We got a Moon card. Okay. We got a Five of Swords. We got a King of Pentacles. We got a Lover's card. We got a Fool card here. And we got a Devil card here. So this was a situation that became rather toxic for you. Can be connecting with a Capricorn here and Aries, a Gemini possibly as well. Um, just naming the major arcanas that I see so far. But this is where it gets a little tricky because with the Ace of Swords to the uh, Lover's Card energy here as well, you cared for this person and your feelings utterly developed for them. So you had feelings for the individual here you're dealing with. 110%. There was some sort of love there. Whether it's that you had love for them, you were in love with them, or even if you just liked them. You cared for this individual, and I feel in a romantic way. But at the end of the day, you have a moon card here and a devil card here, and this relationship or this connection began to become emotionally toxic. Now, due to the fact that this relationship or connection was emotionally toxic, that is why you needed to distance yourself. Because when you and another person end up getting so emotionally toxic towards each other and the devil card can represent codependency and it could represent on this person's end because the nine of swords here paired with the nine of wands and the knight of swords this individual is craving and desiring you so bad it's almost like a drug that they can't have so whoever you're connecting with here leo they may be codependent on you and they may feel like they genuinely need you okay but i don't feel here that you're fulfilling the codependency you're not gonna be the person that fuels the dependency so Moon card here, devil card here, Pisces, Capricorn energy. I feel like oh, whoever you're dealing with is smoking weed to go to bed. Okay, you might have been dealing with a stoner. I feel like they're smoking some weed to go to sleep. Um, I just got a hint of weed. I, I, I haven't fucking smoked in a very long time. But either way, so moon card here, devil card here, a lot of emotional toxicity. The thing about this person is that I feel manipulation from their side as well. Because when somebody here is codependent, and they rely on you, they will do anything to have you, which means that there could be lies that have taken place in this relationship. But I also feel like there wasn't always a super solid foundation between you two. I feel like there was a rocky foundation between you two, and it kind of was present from very early on when you two both started talking to one another. Um, all in all, though, I definitely feel that it was hard for you to detach from them because the Ace of Swords here is paired with the Five of Cups. You know, it was hard for you to detach from them. It was disappointing for you to see this relationship go. It was disappointing for you, but you knew that you needed to muster, muster up, excuse me, the strength and courage to separate yourself from something that was toxic for you, okay? Now, over here, we have the Five of Swords and we have the King of Pentacles. It's been a struggle for you to get grounded. Now that Taurus full moon we just had, it should help you a hell of a lot into getting into a grounded state and a more centered state where you can really kind of just be in a good headspace and a wellness headspace, okay? But I think it took you a while to get grounded. It really took you a while here, Leo, to separate yourself from what is toxic for you and how much you wanna please somebody. You feel me? And I think you've always recognized that this person was toxic for you, but 
it was almost like you had this caretaking role or that you cared so much that you didn't want to break them but besides just that energy it's that the reason why even though it was toxic is like you looked beyond the toxicity because of how much love was really there how much care was really there and that was why it was such a struggle for you to really let go of this connection because i do feel that you genuinely cared for the other person and over here with the full card i definitely see that you want to be free from them in the sense of you want to be free from them in regards to romanticism you want a new partnership and you want new love this is not a person you're in love with anymore if you were in love with them cool but this is definitely somebody you're not in love with right now and with the full card here leo it's signifying you want to be free to find your soulmate to find a person to settle down with etc etc and i think for you the best way to do that was to completely detach from this person you know once you completely detach from this person 11 11 a.m as i'm reading this 11 11 a.m that's actually good that means you're coming into alignment with the soulmate partner soon okay or you're coming into alignment with your new beginning on the path you're supposed to be in that's a really good uh number right there for you or good uh, synchronicity but with the full card energy here right now leo it's signifying that you felt like you needed to fully release yourself from this person in order to really be free to go find new love and to explore other options and relationships etc so you needed to release them all right but i feel on their end man that your love or your care from them is like a drug i feel like they need it i feel like they're craving it they're really craving it and a leo's care is nice leo's you know how to really take care of people i'm a leo venus i know how to take care of a motherfucker so trust me I feel that. Leo energy can be very, very, very much so contagious, okay? People love that. But nonetheless, though, here, Leo, based off these current vibes, they really are just craving you, but you really are putting a wedge in it because you know that the only way for you to be free is to completely detach, okay? In regards to where energies are aligning between Leo and this person, let's take a look here. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs throughout November 15th through the 30th. Where are energies aligning between Leo and the person they're dealing with, please? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, throughout November 15th through the 30th. Let's take a look. Sun card, hello, getting your happiness back. Empress card, we got a six of, oh, hello, six of wands, seven of cups, oh, and a page of wands, baby. I like it a lot, Leo. This is good vibes, good energy for you. Let's take a look here. So you got the sun card here, you got the empress card here, you have the six of wands, you have the page of wands, and then you have the seven of cups. So it's a lot of cards here to talk about, but let's talk about them in general. So remember with the full card, as I said, you really need to utterly, completely release this person in order for you to find the love you're looking for right because if you didn't release this person leo you would have always felt like you had to fuel their dependency that's the issue okay so as you've officially released them leo you're gonna feel good here okay so the sun card you're gonna jump into happiness the empress card you're gonna jump into beauty do you know how good it is when you're not stressed anymore leo like when you let go of stress your acne clears up your vibe just raises you feel good every day you get some sun and you get out the house like stress is shit that really kills stress is what makes people ugly stress is what makes your titties droop when you're fucking 25 okay nobody wants stress okay we all want to be living nice peacefully and vibing okay so with that sun card to the empress card this is self-care baby and with all this self-care that we're having you're looking good you're feeling good and as you're feeling free it's that stress free energy it is very vital and essential to you this month and right over here six of wands don't think you're not going to be getting attention because everybody's going to notice your glow up let me tell you that real quick the moment that you really continue distancing and releasing yourself from this person the glow up is insane People are going to notice that your vibe is different. Your aura is different. People are going to legitimately see you glowing. Your skin is probably going to be different because you're less stressed. And with this glow that's happening right now, it is such a good vibe for you because it's going to bring in a lot of attraction. So notice that in the upcoming months, okay, moving out of November all the way, you know, into the new year, notice in the upcoming uh, couple of months, you're going to notice that a lot more people are attracted to you and a lot more connections are forming. Now, Page of Wands here, you're going to run into a bit of fuck boys and fuck girls. It's normal. You're going to find people that are just looking for sex. You're going to find people that are just trying to get down to funky town, okay? But with this Seven of Cups here, this means more partnerships are coming, okay? And like I said before too, full card to the lover's card, you are freeing yourself from this connection in order for you to find the right one. And you have to go through people. You got to meet people. You got to talk to people to meet the right one. So you'll definitely be in the dating scene in the next couple of months, Leo. There will be more to come and more connections to be formed. Um, I don't feel like you're jumping into something super serious anytime soon. You're vibing, okay? Vibing. For those that resonate with this, of course, vibing, okay? That's going to work out best for you, all right?
But in regards to this person, I do feel a complete release. Um, you may talk to them occasionally, Leo. You may chat with them. You may give in and talk to them, but you're not going to show love in the sense of romanticism. You may still care for them and you may show that care, but you're not going to give them any sort of romantic love because you don't want to hurt this person um, and you don't want to play them, okay? Because you're not that type of person. Uh, as for the overall outcome between Leo and the person they're dealing with, let's take a look here. Message is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the overall outcome between Leo and the individual they're dealing with, please? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs throughout November 15th through the 31st, okay? You got an Ace of Pentacles, you got a jud uh, Judgment card, a Six of Pentacles, and a Queen of Pentacles, absolutely. You guys are gonna be able to go free on your separate ways, and both of you guys are going to where you need to be. Understand right now that with Mercury pushing this person out of your life, it is only for opportunities to be paved in ways that are meant to resonate with you, okay? Not only are you and this individual right now, Leo, out of vibrational resonance, but you're meant to come into something bigger and that you're more deserving of, okay? And with this Judgment card energy here, the person you're dealing with will be able to forgive you they will and they will be able to move on too like i said i do feel this energy of craving you needing you codependent a little bit but they're going to be able to move past you they're going to be okay and that is the outcome here they will live on without you all right and whether if you decide a couple months down the road a couple weeks down the road that you want to be friends with this person cool do you but the romanticism here is coming to a cycle it's coming to an ending and you're going to make peace with this. And I feel like the person you're dealing with, Six of Pentacles, they'll make peace with it as well. So don't be scared. The person you're dealing with will be okay. They're going to come to the understanding that you needed to take care of yourself. And the person you're dealing with is going to learn that they have to take care of themselves as well. That other people can't just take care of them. So the codependency will be completely wiped out of this situation. The person you're dealing with will learn, I got to take care of myself. Okay? So it's going to work out the way it needs to. I promise you. It really will. It really will. Now... What is the best advice that we have here for Leo, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. You're on November 15th to the 31st. This advice can keep going, just saying. So it's for the mid-month, but if it resonates later on, take what resonates, baby. What is the best advice for my Leos? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. throughout November 15th through the 31st. Seven of Pentacles jumped out. Don't wait on nobody. Please don't, okay? Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Don't wait on nobody, okay? Now, the knight, I'm going to consider it. Oh, Jesus Christ, I just dropped all my cards. Whatever. Pretend the knight of pentacles is here, right? I consider the knight of pentacles to be counted as a one. So, seven minus one equals what? Six of pentacles. So, your best advice here is don't wait on anybody. Only engage on people that are engaging with you. So, please don't wait on anyone. Only engage with the people that are engaging with you. Queen of Swords, don't be afraid to cut things off the moment that you feel that they're not right, and don't be afraid to choose yourself, okay? Of course, Leo, give opportunities a chance and give people a chance in the future when chances come up and arise, but don't be afraid to cut something out of your life because you have to do what's best for you at all times. Don't let your heart get in the way. That's what's very important because sometimes, Leo, your heart can get in the way of a decision that is vital and necessary, all right? Any more advice for Leo? Eight of Pentacles. Keep establishing yourself. I'm getting that it's going to be a good time for career, okay, um, during the next couple of months. So if you're focusing on career or if you are wanting to start a business, uh, for some of you here, if you want to start reading tarot or post tarot videos online, whatever it is you want to do, um, if it's business-wise, start it. If you're interested in it, start it. I'm seeing growth here and expansion. The Empress card was out here as well, which can signify growth and expansion. So for those of you here that um, have a dream you really want to get started, don't be afraid to do it. Really get out there and do it, okay? Yeah, move past the burdens and really make shit happen. So for those of you that are scared, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. It's going to be a good vibe here. So for those of you here, just random message. If you are scared to do something or a career move or whatever it is, don't be afraid. Take the leap of faith. Now, of course, make sure that you are secure. You know, don't be that type of person that is like, I have my last $5,000 that I only have 5K in my bank and I'm going to throw all my $5,000 into my business. No, make sure you're feeding yourself and your family, right? But of course, at the same time, past security, make sure you're doing as much as investing in regards to time. Then comes money. When you invest in time, money follows with the time remember that okay nonetheless though here leo good advice so far just don't be afraid to choose yourself don't be afraid to um let your don't be afraid to how do i want to say this don't let your heart get in the way thank you that's what i mean to say don't let your heart get in the way of every decision if it's a head over heart decision and it's vital and essential let your head make the choice okay but this is a cycle that will come to an ending the person you're dealing with will be fine it'll take them time 
they'll hurt they need to heal it'll take them time but it's gonna work out how it needs to hermit card to the king of swords it's gonna work out how it needs to okay and in regards to you more partnerships ahead there's an attraction level that's coming to you. There's a glow up that's coming with you. I'm living for this glow up, Leo. I absolutely love it. It's fantastic for you. So let this glow up be a good vibe for you. Enjoy your time here. In the next couple of months, it looks really good. Okay? Leo, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, if it resonates, let me know down in the comments down below. Take care. Have a fantastic, awesome, and amazing rest of your November. And I will catch you guys in December 2019. All right? Peace.